Ah, now, here's what I like to see. A law with a ridiculous name. The idempotent law, am I saying that right? Apologies if not, explains the situation where we've got the same value being input into both an AND gate and an OR gate. In both cases, we can say that A and A is the same as just A, or that A or A can be replaced with a single A. Why is this? Well, let's power through those truth tables to discover why. Again, whilst both inputs are the same value, we only have one value that we can control, making the truth table a little small. So when both inputs are zero, we get a zero output. And shockingly, when both inputs are a one, we get a one output, proving, proving that the idempotent law is true for the AND gate. The OR gate is pretty much the same. If both of the inputs are zero, then the output is zero. And likewise, if they're both one, then the output is one. Again, proving that if we're using the same value for both of the inputs of the gates, then they can be simplified to just being the input value on its own. In practice then, the idempotent law can be used to remove duplicate data. In our example here, where we have A and B, or B and C, or C, we can immediately see that we can apply the idempotent law to B and B. This becomes B, and we've got our simplified expression. Let's go more hardcore, shall we? Here's a nice one. We've got B and A, and B or B, and C. Now, first of all, we can treat the expressions separated by the OR as two separate expressions, as in essence, the ANDs sort of glue the terms together. You'll see that we can apply the idempotent law to the first expression as we've got B and A and B. When terms are connected with ANDs like this, we can apply the law to the entire expression. And so this becomes simply B and A. Let's take the same idea and apply it to a more complex expression. Here, we've got A or C or B and C or A. Let's highlight the terms that need to glue together. There we go. Uh, and the block in purple is the string of ors. In our expression, we can see that we have two a's connected in one big or. That means we can apply the law and get rid of one of the a terms. Here's one that often confuses people in the application of this law. a and b or a and b or c. This often poses a few problems. Let's get the linked terms highlighted. So remember, the ands are treated as separate expressions if separated by ors, and the string of ors can be the larger container. You might be struggling to see the repeated term that we can apply the idempotent law to. Where are those duplicate letters, you may be asking? Well, in this example, it's not a duplicate letter, but rather a duplicate expression. A and B is repeated twice in the string of ors. That means we can apply the law to the duplicated expressions and get rid of an entire chunk. Boom! That's quite satisfying, actually. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to get more computer science content.